before I start this video, if you're here just to comment fucking furry or something along those lines, thank you for the ad revenue. <laughs> Let's take a trip down memory lane first, it's just more fair for you to get to know me better. My name is Joshua. I started YouTube in 2012 as a vlogger and, uh, um, comedian? Um, I haven't gotten any views lately. Which has upset me, yeah. Anyways, I've been video creating since then across four different channels. I'm a awesome musician with my second album coming out April 25th. Here's the singles. I manage a record label called Rip Van Browser Forever and make skits sometimes. We're starting our brand new Let's Play for Minecraft 1.14, the Village and Pillage update. A lot of you were on the fence of me doing this, but guys, I got a great feeling for this series, and I think you guys are gonna really enjoy what I got planned for you. So with that being said, we have, we have, we have. But besides that, I'm 16 as of like two months ago. My life is uh, kind of cool, I guess. From the age of 11, I was exposed to a stimulation of an audience in previous communities I was in, facing tons of backlash and clownery from somebody my age. This mainly sprouted while I was 11 to 13, which kind of traumatized me over time. Still has a lasting effect today. I guess that's what happens when you've been on the internet since you were 6. I literally had hundreds throwing me hate, uh, doxing me, uh, I also got DDoSed, uh, tons of hate comments and psych bombs, and made fun of on forums, and for someone who's 11, 12, and barely 13, well, you know, that's not very healthy. It doesn't help being in the same type friend group for six years and having everyone slowly abandon you. Well, mostly. I talked to maybe two of the same people I did back then. Anyway, life is naturally depressing. We got some pros, kind of cute. Beat the fuck out of it. Also, my back camera's broken, so this video making process is poggers. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, overall, it's kind of a struggle. I started this channel, my fourth one since 2012 and December 2017, with obvious inspiration from Spockter, Sugary Shep, Finest, and a couple other Storytown YouTube YouTubers. I said other. The, the three I listed are Storytown. I mean, like, Storytown YouTubers. For 500 subs, in September 2018, I had this one special collab thing where I had a couple collaborators come together and roast me for a video, and, uh... So, 500 subs, hey? Too bad you don't get a plaque for that, so you'd have something to put on your wall to prove that you've actually accomplished at least something. I taught him how to do character bob animation, but I guess he couldn't do it because he's just too lazy to try. Boy, I got half as many subs as you. I put my heart and soul into making videos the best I can possibly have them be, and you're saying that? <laughs> Pathetic. Say, have you guys ever stopped and thought about the origin of the name Wolficide? Well, I did the digging for you, and I figured it out. He's called Wolficide because when you watch his videos, you either become a furry or want to kill yourself. And just being in this video alone is making me lean towards the latter. It's just amounted to reading a couple of hate comments. Though, I'll have to give him credit. Even I can't amount to this level of content theft. Wolficide? More like suicide. Because your videos are so bad, they make me want to kill myself. I was young and in phase back then, nothing scratched me, but uh, now I'm insecure about things I don't even do anymore. Despite that, I, uh, you know, I'm not the happiest person. I've kind of located to that previously, but I've been through a lot to say the least. Entertainment that I make in any form is usually my coping method, to let out a creative process I can't get any other way, or having strangers glorify my insecurities in the internet because I didn't have an outlet physically. That's really sad, but it's true. It's like a life of rejection and super high expectations, but I wasn't open enough with my friends. See us be vibing to compliments from strangers. I appreciate all the new people who are here to stay. Getting a platform has been my dream forever so I can pursue other things. And I deeply, with the means of my heart, really do appreciate you all. I couldn't ask for anything else, and hope a majority of you stick around to see what I have in store. Because I, I do a lot. Um, so, uh, with that being said... Yo. Yeah. Yo, uh, I'm just tuning in real quick to say that you fucking suck. Stupid fucking bitch. So I decided to do my Q&A section, uh, separate, because obviously it's much different. That's why I even added the timestamp for it. Uh, and I have webcam on because it feels much more personal, and also makes me so much easier to edit. And apparently some people want to fuck me, so... Anyway, um, so we're just gonna go on my phone and I'll just read them uh, through. How is life and what got you into music? Life is, um, 
I'm sad. What got me into music? Um, so when I was a lot younger, I would listen to people like Daft Punk, Bass Hunters, Rihanna, Drake, Lil Wayne, Eminem. Uh, there was old school classics that were always being played. Uh, who uh, Chris Brown was popping. Pitbull was popping. The thing with Pitbull, oh, Pitbull will always be playing, being played. I'm from Miami Beach, Florida, and Pitbull is from there. So if you know how it is with like rappers or artists, usually where they're from is where their music gets played most often. Pitbull was so fucking often in Miami. You could not go anywhere without hearing Pitbull one day, like talking like 2010 or like 2014. Pitbull was so popping, and I'm so tired of Pitbull, bro. In fact, being a, being a Pitbull, there was a lot of songs I didn't even know were Pitbull songs until like years later because I would go on, I went on Spotify, I listened to some of like Pitbull's songs and I'm like, that was Pitbull? You don't even know because he has artists on his songs that like sing and rap and shit, like the hooks and the hooks are what made the song big and you don't even know it's like Pitbull's song. Like Pitbull is the master of making features work. Have you had any drama in the past with other artists? Okay, I'm gonna shut this down now. I don't draw. A lot of people think I do, I don't. I sing, I rap, I edit, I voice act, I story write, I script write, and I manage. I don't draw. What are your opinions on hot dog water? What is your favorite album of all time? I don't have one, but I have five. Uh, no, in no order, Jabba Gambino because of the internet, uh, Drake Views, Kendrick Lamar, Good Kid, Mad City, Frank Ocean, Blonde, and um, what, Tyler the Creator, Flower Boy, for sure. But what's your views about this whole corona pandemic? Stay the fuck inside. Stay the fuck inside. Please. What do your friends and family think of you making videos and music? Are they supportive? Um, kind of. They think it's cool, but they don't really think it's gonna work in the long term. But it will. Mark my words. It will. Um, do you have any other future plans for the channel? To be honest, uh, okay, so early last year I had this one interview with Cedar Cord where I said I won't be doing YouTube anymore in 2020. Like, I'll quit it by 2020. And that's cap because it's April 2020 and I'm literally here. But um, I have a platform. So, I mean, to be honest, music is like the main thing I feel like doing. Music is like my favorite thing to do. So, if anything, I'll probably just quit YouTube sometime or like at least not upload as frequently. And. YouTube's gonna be like my main, I mean, sorry, music's gonna be my main thing. Can I hug you in favorite genre of music? Uh, hip hop. And then RB would be second. Pop would be third. Alt rock would be fourth. There really isn't a genre, but I mean, if, if we count, like, if hip hop and RB is what I mostly listen to. It's late at night. Some guy comes up to you and asks for your money, or are he gonna pop off your toes? How do you fight back? Spicy Lego pieces, you get a thick Nerf gun. Dude! Nothing beats Lego pieces. Them bitches hurt like hell. Someone could shoot me with a Beretta right here. Someone could pop me with a Glock. Nothing beats Lego. Step on a Lego house. You gonna be for life PTSD. How are you and what inspired you to do YouTube? Um, when I was really young, like eight, I would watch YouTubers like Michael MGF, uh, Super Mario, no, not Super Mario Logan. <laughs> there was some SMG64 or something. It was like some... YouTuber who did like Super Mario 64 videos, and then I, I watch a lot of Lego Mox and Super Mario stuff. I would watch a lot of creepy pastas, and basically I wanted to make I wanted to be like a vlogger and a Lego YouTuber, so that just kind of worked out slowly over time. And uh, now I'm here. Um, what inspired you to do commentary? The name's Junkie, Spock Their Tech, Finest Elite, mainly the first one. Was Spock the Tech the first or second? Spock the Tech was the main person. Uh, like, I want to work with that dude so bad. I want to work with him so bad. I'm going to get that follow back on Twitter one day. Watch me. Hey, congrats on the 10K. So you see your content is awesome. My question would be, if you prefer classic slash older YouTube or newer YouTube, um, when it comes to the website format, newer YouTube. When it comes to YouTubers themselves, old YouTube. Because I'm going to be honest, ain't nobody that, like, interesting anymore like i there's not that many interesting youtubers on the platform that i actually enjoy to watch uh, actually like like i yeah enjoy to watch um youtubers i'm watching lately is uh d'angelo wallace uh volksgeist is another one <sighs> myself <laughs> i like my own videos i like uh, um that's really it besides that i just watch like but really, D'Angelo Wallace and like Volks guys, like the main YouTubers I'm watching right now. D'Angelo Wallace is like, 
that bitch just for like no reason I, f I fuck with him how's it being in quarantine are you bored are you scared are you fine well um yesterday i went to walmart and mcdonald's i went to walmart because i want to buy a nintendo switch they were sold out i went to mcdonald's right after to treat myself and today i had a music video shoot which the governor of my state today announced that we are now on lockdown so i am now officially on quarantine as of right now recording this which means I don't know yet, but I'm, I'm cool with being alone at home because I can work on videos, I can work on music, and no fucking school. <laughs> I don't care. How did you and Nakum Sesame's keeping meet? Um, September 2015, me and her met from a friend group that was really shitty. Very shitty friend group. The worst friend group I've ever been in my entire life. But we met, and she thought I hated her. I didn't like her that much. We... Didn't talk that much. We talked a little bit in 2016, broke off for the entirety of 2017, and then she hit me up in the beginning of very like the first week of 2018, and we relinked. So uh, we we do it. We did a lot together. I mean, we both kind of came up together. You know what I'm saying? So what's your future career? Well, I'm most inspired by the artist behind me, not Kanye, but the uh, how do mirrors work? Like. him i'm most inspired by that guy right there uh because um he he directs he produces he sings he raps he acts he's also a stand-up comedian i want to do that i want to do i want to okay i want to direct my own show i want to also format a music i want to write a musical uh i want to be a successful music artist and I also just want to be a successful online uh, persona as well. I just want to do it all because why not? What's the limit? I mean, really, that was ra I was raised off the internet and riches. So if that's the type of stuff I want to go for, then we can go for it. Inspiration for Hind Your OC. Uh, my OC actually used to look really bad. If you go to my first videos, it was trash, like absolute garbage. Uh, this is what it uh, looked like. Not good. Not good. It was, uh, originally, it was going to be a Sheeb OC. Um, I don't know what inspired that, but uh, it's not a sheep. So, any big projects coming up, like videos or music? Like I mentioned in the first half of this video, I have an album coming out April 25th, and I also have a show I'm planning later this year with a group of friends. One, after a breakup, would you rather be alone or be surrounded by friends? I would rather, okay, there's stages of a breakup. Um, first, I would like to be surrounded by friends um, for, for the very the very beginning part. And then after that, I want to be alone for a while. That's, yeah, that's it. Or, or swap, really. Any new excited things you would like to share? Um, yeah, I got an album coming out. It was 23. <laughs> How does music matter to you? Why? Music shapes my moods. Uh, music inspires me. Music is the best venting outlet I've found in my entire life. And... I've made so many friends because of music. It's ridiculous. Like it's, it just powers through us all. If you could change one thing about the world, regardless of guilt or politics, what would you do? Um, I would get Keemstar off this platform. Um, no. Um, get Spock the Tech to follow me back. What is the biggest fuck up you've ever made when trying to ask a girl out slash confess to them? I've never asked the girl out uh, seriously because uh, I'm gay, but um, when I was younger, uh, actually when I was younger, all four of the girlfriends I had when I was a lot younger actually all said yes, so I never fucked up on asking another girl. How old are you? How tall are you? I'm 16 and 5'7". What matters to you most right now? Um, this Baja Blast and my album coming out April 25th. Okay, Drake or Future and What a Time to Be Alive. I actually we listened to the What a Time to Be Alive album the other day, and I gotta say Drake. Okay, so how do you go with the name Wolficide? I told the same story in my 1.5K Q and A. Um, I was with my friend Nexi Ru, and we were we. I asked him uh, to make up with the name because I wanted the name Wolficide on something, and uh, basically. Um, he just said we are both big Undertale fanatics and genocides in many ways with that. So, wolf genocide. That's it. It's really boring. Dick size, super small, really tiny. 
Are you gay and are you single? Yes, and it's complicated. Favorite music genre and any particular artist? My favorite artists, um, I'd say ever, are Travis Scott, Rich Brian, uh, Childish Gambino, and probably, you know, that's actually using my top three, easily. Good games do you like? I already answered the first one, but the second one, I really only play CSGO and GTA, but I ordered a Switch Lite literally today. I ordered a Switch Lite and I'm going to play the fuck out of Animal Crossing on God. Opinions on Biggie Eyelash, she is, I think she's really good. Um, I just think she needs to open her voice up a little bit more like she does when performing and she'll be good. I, I like Billie Eilish. I've been watching her since her 2017 EP and she's they like watching her footsteps. She's she's good. I like her. She, she's talented. What's your biggest pet peeve? Um, I have two. Uh, the first one is, okay, so motherfuckers, um, what I hate is motherfucker like sliding into my DMs and being like, what you doing? And I tell them what I'm doing and they say what they're doing and it never ends. Rather starting a conversation with what you doing or starting a conversation with what's up or hi. Because if you say hi, it's gonna be hello and then it's gonna be what you doing. Oh, I'm having sex. Uh, what you doing? Oh, I'm in a penthouse in the Bahamas. Conversation ends. Hi, what's up? How are you? I'm okay. I, uh, and then I, ha I hate, I hate how are you? Or like, not how are you, I hate like, just from certain people, I hate being asked, how are you, or what's up, every fucking day. What's up? What do you mean, what's up? It's gonna be the same shit. I'm working on this, this, and that, and I'm having sex with a lot of bitches. What do you want me to say? Like, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm traveling. I'm in a spaceship. I hate that shit. I hate that shit. It's so annoying. You know what I also hate? When you vent about something, and there's always, <laughs> there's always those hoes that, like, gotta compare. They're like, oh, you're like, oh, yeah, my grandma just died. Yeah, well, guess what? Oh, um, be glad my grandma died five years ago. Man, fuck you. I don't care. L, kid. Man, fuck off. What's your favorite rapper that's name starts with Lil? Um, uh, well, okay, the GOAT. The best rapper that's name starts with Lil is Lil Wayne, obviously. But my favorite that I listen to the most is Lil Uzi Vert. Eternal Take Bangs. I'm gonna be banging that shit all year. What advice would you give to people who are starting to make music? Okay, I would give two. Uh, one, have patience with your ideas. And two, Try to not sound too much like your inspirations. I know a couple people who sound way too close to the people they're inspired by, and it's it's dangerous because you're gonna end up sounding the same and just like the person you're inspired by, and you kind of want to make your distinct sound that way. So I try to just try to practice with yourself, and patience is a big factor. What inspires you to make music? Um, the surroundings. I have uh, my emotions because I'm really sad. And I guess to express express the feeling when I'm I feel like I'm the shit and I make that hard stuff. Uh, but it really it really depends. But really, it's just the environment around me and the lack of expression I have with other things. I'd rather kiss Tom Nook or eat his son. I have no idea what Tom Nook does or that he even had a son. All I know is I'm getting a Switch Lite in eight days and I'm gonna be playing the fuck out of Animal Crossing. Y'all are not gonna see me anymore. I'm gonna be gone because I'm gonna be on that Animal Crossing like. Hell yeah, cat boys and fucking albums on the wall and shit. Man. Do you like anime? If you do, what is your favorite? Okay, so with anime, I used to watch it a lot when I was younger. Uh, Kill the Kill, Seven Deadly Sins, uh, Blue Exorcist Attack on Titan, Sword Art Online. Uh, Gun Game Online since that was a sequel. Um, Vampire Knight was one. Uh, ReZero, was that even an anime? Was that an anime? Uh, uh, does Beastars count? If a Beastars and a Gretzko count? Yeah, also B Stars, that is my next video. You gotta hear. Last but not least, will you become a Reddit channel? You can catch me dead before you catch me lagging. 100. <laughs>